Welcome to this video review. Uh, I'm going to show all the features and talk about the Steiner Skyhawk 40 10x42 binoculars. So I'm sure that you know Steiner as a binoculars producer. They are producing the binoculars from 1947. So they started quite soon after the Second World War and um, they're one of the biggest producers in Germany or and in Europe normally of the binoculars and they have a really I would say unique strategy that they divide their binoculars for uh, hunting use and birding or adventure and in general nature enthusiasts um, so this Skyhawk they come from the from the birding or birding or adventure um, side of their offer they were introduced, I think, in 2018, and they fit, I would say, in the in the middle of the entire range. So, this adventure, um, adventure side of Steiner, it starts with Safari Ultra Sharp 10 by 42, then it continues with Skyhawk uh, 10 by 42. These are already suitable also for birding, and then uh, it. Uh, goes up with uh, with wildlife and then wildlife XP on top. What that means in euros, it means that with um, Safari Ultra Sharp you're paying around 300 euros. With this Skyhawk Skyhawk 40 you're paying roughly 500 euros for binoculars. With wildlife you're paying 700 euros per binoculars and then with wildlife XP almost 2000. So they cover the entire range of, of the whole market with uh, their binoculars. There are many differences between them. So, so they, they consider that uh, you will spend, the amount of money you will spend on binoculars is uh, really depends on the way how you will use them and how often you will use them. So they understand that someone who is using the binoculars once per month or maybe only in vacations one per, once per year will not pay 2000 euros for binoculars. And they also decide on a similar key which features go in each class. So with, the, with Safari Ultra Sharp, you get a little bit lower field of view, you get uh, less sophisticated eye cups, uh, you don't get this dual valve uh, nitrogen filling that, that others get. So some features are lacking, but they still offer a really solid, um, solid option for someone who is looking for the entry level binoculars. With this Skyhawk 4.0, you're already getting a little bit better optical performance, so a wider field of view. You're getting a little bit better um, carrying strap uh, option. So it's not a click lock system like on the wildlife, but you you already get them with this um, with this system that you're just clicking them on. Uh, much better than normal binoculars where you need to put rope through them like let's say on, on Safari Ultra Sharp uh, or Observer from the hunting side. Um, you're also getting better coatings so with each level you go up you get better coatings and better optical um, optical performance and normally the differences are also in the warranty so with the Skyhawk you're getting 10 years warranty with wildlife you're getting 30 years warranty and with wildlife XP also so if we go through the binoculars that we have here so like already mentioned they're one step above Safari Ultra Sharp and one step below wildlife uh, there were many generations of Skyhawk binoculars before them so this is the reason why they're called Skyhawk 4.0 uh, each generation brought some additional features and additional qualities. Uh, they are made out of macrolon, so the polycarbonate used for the housings. Uh, Steiner has really a lot of experience with them and it's very, very robust. Uh, they are filled with nitrogen with this dual valve patent system, so they are um, very reliable in this aspect, they will never fog. And they work all the way from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 70. So even using them on a safari in Africa or somewhere where it's really hot will be no problem for them. Uh, the external finishing, you see it's made out of rubber, uh, very similar to, maybe it's even the same rubber as they call this uh, NBR long life rubber. So a high quality rubber. And the dimensions for them 
is completely the same like with all 10 by 42 binoculars by Steiner. So 15 centimeters of height and roughly 13 centimeters of, uh, of width, single hinge design with the central focusing. In general, I'm almost sure that with uh, Skyhawk 4.0 and Wildlife and also with Ranger Extreme, the optical construction is completely the same because you get the same field of view on all of them, but the coatings are different. So you do get different optical performance from each of these binoculars. So if you look, if you compare these binoculars with, let's say, Safari Ultra Sharp, they have less chromatic aberration. But if you compare them with Wildlife, Wildlife has even less chromatic aberration and then Wildlife XP even, even less. Um, as you can see, the eye cups are basically the same as on uh, Ranger Extreme or Wildlife. So two positions and winked eye cups. Um, Steiner is one of the few producers that always produces this wink, winked eye cups uh, so that the stray light from the side doesn't enter your eye when you're using them and uh, the optical performance is immediately better. So, or how to say, you're able to see the optical performance better because there is no interfering light from the side. Um, the support on the second position is it's sufficient, even though I think it could have been done even better. Uh, and uh, the opter setting is on the left eyepiece, like on all standard binoculars, and it has small clicks inside so that you're really able to precisely set it from minus four to plus four. Um, so the focusing, the focusing is central and they have this fast close focus system with even marked distances. So all the way from, from uh, two meters, which is the minimal focusing distance, two meters and a half, five meters, seven, 10, 20, and then to infinity. Uh, it goes roughly I think less than one, yeah, less than one turn. So it's really, really fast focus. So much faster than on their hunting models, even though even on hunting models, their focus is still fast for, for hunting oriented buyers. But for, for birders, I would say this is almost ideal. Why? Because why it's so different between uh, if you have the binoculars for birding or adventure and those for hunting. If it's for hunting, the, the animals are usually very slow and they don't move much. With, let's say, birding, you know that birds, they move really fast and it can happen that the bird is, let's say, five meters from you and then it flows away and in the next couple of seconds it's 50 meters away. So this is the reason why on birding and nature uh, binoculars you need a faster focus. They also have this uh, system that you just put an approximate distance to it and then you look through the binoculars and just a small change will be need to be done. So this distancing on the on the focusing knob is nice even though we could question if it's really usable. Uh, I didn't mention that the binoculars are roughly 750 grams uh, heavy or light. They're really compact and, and light and they have integrated lens covers. Together with the binoculars, you're getting a nice carrying bag, really soft one, uh, rubber soft eyepiece covers, also very nice, the manual and 10 years warranty, and a Steiner cleaning cloth. You also get a neoprene carrying strap. The optical performance, like I said, 10 by 42. This is, I would say, a standard birding configuration, even though some birders also use 8 by 42. And uh, the field of view on this 10 by 42 is 108 meters. Uh, the eye relief is 16 millimeters, which means uh, the eye relief is average and all the lenses are fully multi-coated. I think we came to the, to the part where I do a short summary when I go through the sweet and sour and when I say what's, what I like and what could have been done better. So first of all, what I like, like with every Steiner binoculars, the build quality and the robustness. So they're made to last. This is also the reason why you're getting 10 years warranty for binoculars uh, with the binoculars for 500 euros. That's really a lot. 
I like the integrated lens covers, but they are standard and all the Steiner binoculars, the accessories in general are of high quality. I also like the system that you just click on the carrying strap. This is something what other manufacturers could learn from Steiner because on wildlife binoculars they have even a better system called click lock. Uh, but this one is a, it's a good, uh, I would say, approximation of that system. It works really well. Uh, the warranty, I also have to mention the service. Their service is almost second to none. And if anything happens to your binoculars, you just send them uh, to service in Germany and they will fix them. And this is also something what majority of other manufacturers, at least for 500 euros, are lacking. Um, the optical performance is decent even though if we come to the very still room for improvement, I think that the field of view could have been done a little bit better. I also think that the eye relief could have been done a little bit better and uh, the eye pieces could have more positions and a little bit firmer support. Not a big thing, uh, but still I'm talking where things could have been done better. All in all, the styling is also very great. And if you're searching for binoculars which will last a long time, which have really superb build quality, uh, focusing which is uh, meant for birders or for nature observation, then this is a good choice for you because you're buying a solid quality with a uh, pair of binoculars with really, I would say, almost exceptional build quality for this price class and they will last really a long time. Thank you for watching. If you need any additional information, please send us an email or check on our webpage. And normally, if you like the channel, please subscribe.